morning everyone. This is Denise Loretta with Simply Love Slips and this morning we are going to be making <coughs> excuse me we're going to be making some lavender soap. Um, it's going to be fairly simple. I think I'm going to do an in the pot swirl for this soap to make it look like marble or I haven't quite decided. In the pot um, probably in the pot swirl because with this being a floral it's probably going to speed up. Um, it's going to speed up the trace and get thick quick. So we're going to do an in the pot swirl. I'm going to be using bramble berries, um, lavender for the main base color. I'm going to be using bramble berries, orchid mica for the swirl, and plus I'm going to use titanium dioxide. Um, and I may put uh, some glitter on top. It's fairly simple, easy, and um, let's see about making some soap. Make sure that's on. I've already added my, I've already added my clays and my colloidal oil. I'm just going to mix that up a little bit before I add my light solution. solution. My life solution has Tessa silk and sea salt. For those of you who don't know, Tessa silk gives a silky finish to the soap and makes the soap glide on your skin, which is natural. And then we have the sea salt, which helps with bubbling. Um, I add sea salt because my bars are a very moisturizing soap, so I tend to have not quite as much of a bubble, and the sea salt helps with that. I mean, leather is great. I love leather soap, but I still want a little bit of bubble in there. I don't want to stick blend it too much with it being a floral as well. That can cause it to speed up trace as well. So I'm just getting it to the to the blend mark or to just that trace. But most of everything else is going to be stirred in. to divide off for the titanium dioxide and for the orchid mica. I guess I lied guys, I do need to blend this titanium dioxide. And 
just scraping out the stick blender. Stir that really good. Try to get all the stirring in before I add that fragrance. This is the Lavender Mica from Brambleberry. A titanium dioxide. It's just a little bit darker. Than Stirring in that lavender. Oh, that lavender smells so good. Lavender is very soothing to me. Some people don't like lavender, but I do. I don't like a lot of it, but I do like lavender. I especially like it with, um, there's one that Be Scented has that is um, lavender and honey. And they have one that is lavender and lemon that I love. Just mixing in this fragrance. I'm going to move that stick blender out of the way. Now 
for an in the pot swirl. You drop the colors at the quarter marks on a clock. So what you're going to do is drop it at the 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 9 o'clock. one's getting thick. And then I repeat 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Then I repeat 12, 3, Scrapey, scrapey, nine, scrape up my container, sorry guys, I know you can't see much, but just trying to get all that goodness out of there. Loosen that up a little bit. Okay. Then we're doing 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Then we're going to scrape to get this 9 o'clock. Now that we've done that, what we do is I put my spatula in at the 12 o'clock, take it down to the 6 o'clock, and then I wrap it around once. And there we go. And then we'll take it. Start pouring it in the mold. Look how pretty that is. Oops. And it is starting to thicken up. Make sure I got that in there. And grab my handy dandy spatula. guys I think that's gonna be all I can get out of this container all right wipe up the sides pound it down so that way there's no air bubbles Let's see. I think I'm going to do chopstick swirl on top.
go back, make the smaller ones. Sides. I think we are going to add a little bit of glitter. This is the iridescent glitter by Be Scented. This is 91% alcohol, and that's just to help set the top and to help control soda ash. So guys, this is it for today. I'll bring you back for the cut tomorrow. Y'all have a blessed day and be well. Good morning, everyone. This is Denise with Simply Love Soaps. Um, I'm doing the cutting for the lavender soap that I made yesterday. Um, I forgot that I was actually supposed to be... <laughs> recording the cutting and already cut a couple of the pieces and it's turned out quite pretty so let's finish up the cut that's the and it smells awesome I don't know if y'all can hear it in the background, but I have um, Jen at A&N Sets and Such playing on YouTube. I may need to uh, go turn that off. I forgot to turn it off. Normally when I'm soaping, I'll be listening to either music or to um, YouTube. And Jen is actually one of my favorite YouTubers. Probably this isn't tight enough. There we go. Very pretty. It smells so good. Oops. I just messed that one up. It smells so good. I like lavender. It's not one of my favorite scents. But this is a pretty lavender scent. This one played fairly well. Um, 
did not get real thick until towards the end. But I have a couple of air pockets from where it did get thick. That's one of the reasons why we bang it down to try to help take out the air pockets. Or take out the bubbles. And this is the last one. And there we go. And then these two are for samples. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Y'all have a great day and be well. God bless.